Hello everyone and welcome back to another video where today we're going to be predicting the scores and results of week 15 of this, the 2018-2019 Premier League season. Now of course, Nathan's not here at the moment, he's getting ready for school and I'm dressed, ready to go to work, so it's just a quick video this morning. And um, Let's have a quick look back at last week before we get on to this week's fixtures. And as you can see, Nathan came away with 9 points and he had 2 perfect scores, that was the Cardiff versus Wolves match and Huddersfield versus Brighton. I myself came away with 10 points and I had two perfect scores as well. That's the Cardiff versus Wolves match and the Leicester City versus Watford match. Looking at the comments section, the top scorer of the week was Andre Sliver. I think it's Andre Sliver with 13 points. So congratulations, Andre. And if you're playing along in the Fantasy Football League, top of the shop yet again is Amplifleur. But the highest scorer of the week was the Chalkies, managed by Jack Chalk, and he had 83 points. So, Jack, congratulations for that score. But enough of last week, let's get stuck in to week 15. So first up we've got Bournemouth against Huddersfield. Bournemouth now, I think they're on a four game losing streak last up. They lost against Manchester City of course. They're up this week against Huddersfield and I'm going for a 2-1 victory to the Cherries. I think they'll turn their fortunes around at home. For Nathan, he has also gone for a Cherries victory and he's gone for Bournemouth 2, Huddersfield 0. Next fixture is Brighton against Crystal Palace. Brighton, of course, winning away against Huddersfield in the last fixture. Crystal Palace also having a very good 2-0 win. I think that's the first time they scored more than one goal at home for quite a while now. In this one, I think it's going to end at stalemate and I'm going for a 1-1 draw. Nathan, he's agreed with me. He also is going for a 1-1 draw in this fixture. Next up, we've got West Ham against Cardiff. In week 14, both West Ham and Cardiff won their respective fixtures. West Ham winning their fixture 3-0 up at Newcastle and Cardiff beating Wolves 2-1. I think Cardiff are going to go away to West Ham and gain a 1-1 draw. I think it's going to be a very difficult match. West Ham kind of blow in hot and cold but they are at home. I think they will be strong but I think Cardiff learning defensively now to cut out those mistakes even though they did, they did have a, a, a bit of a blip against Wolves with that uh, horrendous you could say defending at the uh, at the set piece which led to uh, Wolves' goal but I think this one is going to end up as a 1-1 draw and Nathan agrees he has also gone for a 1-1 draw in this fixture. Next up we've got Watford against Manchester City. Manchester City on top of the league with yet another victory in the last fixture. Watford in the last fixture losing against Leicester City. I can't see anything else apart from a Manchester City victory in this one and I'm going for a 2-0 away victory for the citizens. Nathan agrees, but he's going one better and he's gone for a 3-0 victory to Manchester City. Moving on to the Wednesday fixtures and the first fixture there is Burnley against Liverpool. Liverpool carving out a 1-0 narrow victory with a, well, a bit of a scrappy goal at the end of that match against Everton. And I think they're going to win again against Burnley and I'm going for a 2-0 victory for the Reds. And Nathan agrees, but he thinks they're going to actually smash Burnley 4-0. Next up, we've got Everton against Newcastle. I think Everton are going to return to winning ways at home. They're pretty strong at home. I think if they win this one, it'll be their fourth or fifth, year, fourth or fifth victory on the trot. And I'm going for a 1-0 victory to Everton over Newcastle. Nathan agrees, but he's gone for one goal more. And he's going for a 2-0 victory for Everton. Next up, we've got Fulham at home against Leicester, the Foxes. Uh, Leicester in pretty good form at the moment. Fulham with their new boss Claudio Ranieri couldn't uh, do anything against Chelsea in the last fixture so I'm going for a away victory for the Foxes and I can see this one ending up as a 2-1 victory to Leicester. And Nathan agrees he has also gone for a 2-1 victory for Leicester City in this one. Next up we've got Wolves struggling at the moment losing course against Cardiff in their last fixture. They're coming up against Chelsea and I can only see a Chelsea victory in this one. So I'm going for Wolves nil, Chelsea 2. And Nathan agrees, but he's gone for one more goal in this one. And he's gone for Wolves nil, Chelsea 3. Next up, we've got Manchester United against Arsenal. Probably the game of the round. And I think with that fine victory against Tottenham in the last fixture, 
I think Arsenal are going to go away to Old Trafford and carve out a narrow 2-1 victory. Even though, you know, Manchester United are very strong at home, but I can only see a win here for the Gunners. And Nathan agrees, he's actually going for a 2-0 victory for the Gunners. He, do, he doesn't think that Manchester United to score in this fixture. And last up, we've got Spurs against Southampton. Spurs are going to want to bounce back from that defeat against Arsenal. And I'm going to go for a 3-0 victory for Spurs. Nathan agrees, and he has also gone for a 3-0 victory. So that concludes our predictions for week 15 of this season's Premier League. As always, I'm going to leave a template of the fixtures in the description. All you need to do is copy and paste them into your comments. Leave your predictions and like. Andres Lewa. The top scorer of the round will get a shout out in the next video. Sorry it's been such a short video this one guys, but for now, we'll see you in the next video. Enjoy the football on Tuesday and Wednesday and we'll see you real soon.